the Greener Alternative Marijuana Dispenser incident. They, they burst into this marijuana dispensary uh, and at the time Henry Smith uh, had been working there for I believe it was his second day. Uh, his, his wife was pregnant. He had just gotten married a week before this, this incident. Uh, he was working this uh, job as a second job to take care of himself and his wife. I was walking around doing a round, a security check, and when I was going, when I was walking to the front door, that's when two males approached me. I was scared that if I would have pulled out my gun at that time, I would have been shot in the head. The whole time, he, you know, he's demanding that, that Henry give him his, his, uh, his weapon, which uh, Henry, of course, doesn't want to do. And there's a security feature on the actual uh, holster that doesn't allow the gun to easily be taken out. And so Henry was smart in that he, he knew about the security feature. Uh, it became clear that the defendant uh, didn't know how to operate it, and so Henry uh, refused to tell him how to do it, how to, how to get the gun out. And so these guys then uh, undid his duty belt and then took the whole belt. Um, at that point, the defendant then demands that Henry open up one of the doors that leads to the bud room. Uh, Henry, again, uh, you know, taking the, the smart approach, tells him that he doesn't have the key or he, he's unable to open the door. The defendant, though, is not discouraged and then kicks down the door. Henry um, is then led further away from the only exit to this particular uh, dispensary. They placed me face down and they told the owner to put the marijuana in the bags, the trash bags that they had. Then I heard the owner um, pleading for his life. So at that point, I, I knew they were gonna kill us. I heard them leave that room, the bedroom where I was at. Henry, though, because he's face down on the ground uh, and, and having heard the store owner, uh, the, an individual named Sean Kaji, uh, believe that they were actually taking Mr. Kaji out of the bud room uh, into another room to execute him. How I was raised and always help, always help, no, no matter what. And so I got up, ran to the front, and as I was running, I found my gun on the ground in my duty belt. So I put on my gun. And as I pulled it out, one of the suspects came around the corner and attacked me, and that's when I shot him. And that's when the other suspect came around the corner and began shooting. I didn't know I was shot at that time. And you can see in the video that Henry's leg actually gives out. Well, Henry is able, under the uh, circumstances, to maintain his composure and, and begins firing back. So the defendant was charged with the uh, murder of the accomplice, uh, he was charged with the attempted murder of Henry Smith, and he was charged with the robbery of the dispensary. And the defendant was convicted of, of all three of those counts. My wife stayed there at the hospital with me the entire time. She, uh, they were, the staff brought another bed in. They wrote, put her, put her bed next to mine. So she stayed there with me. Uh, my parents helped me out, my family. It was hard. What really struck me about Henry was his concern for not just himself during this incident, but in protecting the store owner. At, at clearly great cost to himself. And so there's absolutely no doubt in my mind that he deserves this award. Because frankly, I can't think of really anyone else who could have done what he did. I think most people would have just stayed on the ground. I look forward to getting off of work and coming home, having time with my daughter, um, having dinner with my family, um, 
just being my daughter's and wife's life. I mean, very thankful, very thankful that I was given a second chance.